A home that has a performance aspect in improving the environment is really important. In our opinion, a timeless home, because basically it's a part of the context of the place. My name is Paul Massey from Bates Massey Architects. And I'm Aaron Weil, and this is the Morris Cove residence. Morris Cove is one of a series of coves and inlets off of the main harbor, and it forms this beautiful waterway. And we're on a peninsula within that waterway with views in every direction. In some of our preliminary research, looking at this through aerial data, uh, this peninsula was formed by dredging and spoils that they had placed here. And previously, there was a home here and frankly was contributing to the erosion of the property. So one of our goals was to look at a new design that would be beneficial to the property. Also for them in terms of living, they wanted a house that not only responded to the views and the landscape, but to the seasons. With the brief of trying to improve the site, we established a series of courtyards and the foundations of those courtyards not only support the building, but are raised above the grade and act as basins that collect the roof runoff and then slowly filter it back into the ground. In the design of raising these courtyards that supported the house, they became these vessels that we could celebrate within the architecture, but also that would hold the water and disperse it at a slower rate while the groundwater subsided. What's interesting is our office used to be just a couple of miles from here. So we visited the site during storm surges and we were here in Sag Harbor during Katrina. We've seen how bad it can be in terms of the flooding and how intense the rainfall can be. So it was kind of real to us to address this issue. The layout of the home is structured so it's oriented towards the water. The idea was to have five separate pavilions However, the space between those pavilions were a common space or the more public space for the home. And we were able to design it in such a manner that all of the spaces could be separated by sliding pocketing doors. And thus, each one of those pavilions could act as an independent volume. Starting from the pool area, the first volume is a family room den into this more service sort of kitchen pantry. Between them and the bedrooms, we have the dining living. And then there's two guest rooms and the primary bedroom. So each of the pavilions is clad in Ipe with silicon bronze fasteners, and the bronze fasteners leave a trace of deposit as they weather on the siding. Similarly, the copper that clads the soffits and some of the siding areas, that naturally weathers and leaves a stain as the water runs down the facade. And that's one of the aspects of the materials that the client really responded to, was materials with character, with patina, Everything was thought about in terms of generations. The interiors of each pavilion are a contrasting palette of materials. There's a bleached white oak on the ceilings and floors, a plaster on the walls. Everything's very light and refined compared to the exterior materials that are much more rugged. The idea of the 
stock was to have that as an extension of the architecture as well, um, of that visual access. But again, reinforcing the idea of the exterior through the interior. And as people come and visit, you walk out onto the dock and you're able to see the site and the architecture and each of the individual volumes. I think for me, it's the intimacy of some of the experiences. Many of the homes that we work on, it's about entertaining. And the large scale can make it hard to appreciate the smaller moments. Whereas in this home, it's all about the smaller moments. My favorite part of the home is the dining living space and how the doors collapse and it connects the two bodies of water. And what I appreciate about that is the sense of connection that gives to the whole waterway, the whole ecosystem of the area. This video is brought to you by TEN, our debut hardcover book celebrating 10 issues of the local project. TEN unites the very best projects from the first 10 issues of the publication into a beautiful single volume. With over 400 pages of architecture and design from both leading and emerging creatives, the hardcover book takes readers on a curated and meditative journey. The premium paper stock of the book means 10 is an enduring addition to a coffee table or library to be enjoyed for years to come. With worldwide delivery available, have 10 delivered directly to your door. Head to the link in the video description to purchase your copy now and use the code BOOK5 at checkout for a 5% discount.